Around the beginning of my junior year, I was in a precarious situation that I needed to satisfy for the benefit of my own well-being. My whole body, especially my joints, was starting to ache excessively. And on top of that, the stress in school was beginning to overwhelm me and hinder my mental state. After looking around for different ways to help with these various woes, you could say, a friend of mine suggested I take a yoga class to quote-unquote kill two birds with one stone. I attended the class expecting to be a fish out of water, but what I quickly learned was that yoga struck the perfect balance between beginners and experts, as well as offering different methods of practice to meet the needs of just about anyone. Now, I've been fairly consistent with my yoga for a couple months now. And I can safely say from experience that the benefits gained from this practice are immensely helpful and personally satisfying. Well, there are plenty of advanced moves uh, that will take me months and months in practice to achieve. I have a decent grasp on the beginner and intermediate yoga poses uh, that work different muscle groups and throughout my body. Uh, even if I'm not like Jamie, who told me that she was a 10 when I asked how flexible uh, she was on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not flexible, 10 being very flexible. I found that my routine suits my needs and works best uh, to my abilities, while also pushing me to find new ways to improve every day. Now, the idea of finding a routine that suits you best is where I ask all of you to f consider your options on yoga. Uh, during this quarantine, we find ourselves in extremely difficult ways to find exercise and also to unwind. Uh, gyms, public areas, yoga studios especially are being shut down and people are limiting their options when it comes to exercise and finding ways to get active. I, I've logged on to every single class and I hope that all of you are doing your best to keep up your physical and mental well-being uh, during these times and that's why I'm here to convince you to start practicing yoga in your own free time. Now, according to an in-depth study done by the Mayo Clinic, uh, yoga is both an excellent physical and mental discipline that helps bring out inner peace in both your body and your mind. Uh, this study would go on to list the benefits from consistent yoga practice, including stress reduction, improved fitness, management of chronic conditions. Uh, yoga may be tough on the body, but it's also very soothing for the mind. Another study done at Harvard University in their health sector found that yoga practice could lead to more mindful eating habits, weight control, and even improvement of one's own body image. All, all good things considered. It would be almost impossible task to find a yoga study that listed as a detriment to your health. And if you could possibly stop, um, what would keep you from not starting right away? As I've stated before, the quarantine in place, you won't be able to find a yoga class or get instructor right away, but that is why I'm proposing a plan that could resolve all these issues and get you started practicing yoga. So if there are any of you that are on the fence about my proposal, I will defer to the audience and highlight some examples from my survey about the many different reasons that you all took action and started practicing yoga. Uh, Hope said she wanted to do it to feel calm. Lauren said it was to help with her anxiety. Doug said it was a good workout. And a Abby even said that it was a good after-workout cool-down. And even our own Professor Hoffman said it looked like it could help with stiff muscles and lack of flexibility. I can attest to that. So there's a variety of answers, and it came to no surprise that 10 of you had already stated that you would consider practicing yoga at home. The NIH even found that one in seven Americans practice yoga in the past 12 months, and the Good Body, a yoga website, even found that one in three Americans have already tried yoga at least once. Two statistics the class easily surpassed. So if you're already feeling stressed about online classes, I know I am, struggling to find ways to keep up your physical fitness, or even some looking for something to add onto your routine, yoga is your lifeline to help clear your head and keep your mind and body sharp. So to get this plan in action, it's important to understand the situation we find ourselves in and the downsides that come with it. As stated before, you can attend a yoga class at a recreational facility and it may be difficult to attain a yoga mat given your specific location. 
Well, I do understand that yoga is something that can be done by oneself. If you are very nervous, nervous about the flexibility of your body and which muscle groups would be easiest to tear, you do want to make sure that you just don't go into this blindly. That being said, there are a number of ways to get started doing yoga without the need for expert advice or pricey foam mats. If you don't have a yoga mat, try finding a soft blanket or towel somewhere in your house. You just want to get anything to keep your hands and feet off the floor so your wrists and your ankles don't start swelling up. I know that that's a problem a lot of us might have. You also need to find a spacious area in your house to lay out the mat. Uh, and if you have plenty of room to stretch, your room, a basement, a garage, even your backyard can be used so long as you can concentrate and feel at ease. Uh, lastly, if you're if you're unsure where to even begin, the best place in the bottom line is YouTube. YouTube can detail all the poses. YouTube can take you through these breathing techniques. YouTube can even walk you through entire yoga routines. You can limit your search based on skill level and even find tips and advice on how to make your experience suit your personal need. If you even want to take a step further, there are yoga instructors that offer live online classes. There might be a paywall behind it, but if you go an extra step beyond, that option is there. There's a lot of options available to you, and there are so many different ways you can tackle and approach this. And if there are any of you that are still wary about something like yoga, I ask you to weigh the positives and against the almost non-existent negatives. I can understand when Jonathan tells me he wouldn't want to take an actual yoga class. And I can also see why Julia might not want to try it at home because, you know, she scored a self one on the flexibility scale. That is completely understandable. But all things considered, it's no surprise as to why you have already tried yoga and are already on board with the idea of doing it yourself. It is a stressful time to be alive right now. All of us can agree on that. And it's difficult to spread your legs and feel like you're being active with gyms and everything being shut down we have to use our heads and find ways to overcome the difficulties of being trapped in our homes uh, think of yoga as both an exercise and a mentality to get by your opportunity to get active yoga for the sake of your health and with the support of the medical world behind you get out a blanket try a few poses stretch your body and your mind and hopefully you will find some peace in a stressful world and in your daily routine.